Introduction to Electro Design Principles by Advanced Integrated Technologies. This is an example demonstrating the principles of electrogeometry and how electrode tip shape can potentially affect the surface area of the contact between the electrode and the part when the position of the electrode in relation to the part changes, consequently altering the strength and quality of the weld. The electrode tip shape needs to provide a constant contact area between the tip surface and the part, regardless of the position of the electrode in relation to the part. As an example, the surface area of contact between a rectangular electrode and a wire stays the same when moved off center. However, the surface area of contact between a cylindrical electrode and the wire changes when moved off center. Weld quality decreases with increasing tip length. The tip length should be kept at less than double the longest width of the tip or diameter. Low conductivity electrode rods that are long and small in diameter generate a lot of waste heat which then flows into the tip and reduces the electrode life. When using electrode tips that are low conductivity and made out of molybdenum, copper tungsten alloy, and tungsten. Silver braze these low conductivity materials to a RWMA-2 or Glidkopf shank to allow the absorption of excess heat. Utilizing molybdenum and tungsten tips that are pressed into a RWMA-2 or Glidkopf shanks should be avoided for the reason that the electrical resistance between the shank and the tip increases over time due to corrosion when it's been ran under high weld current and duty cycle operating conditions over an extended period of time, negatively affecting the weld quality. Residual electrode tip heat can cause the following problems. Shorter tip life, part cracking, rapid tip oxidation, rapid part material plating buildup on the tip, reduced weld strength, severe tip to part sticking, severe tip geometry wear, increased part deformation. The factors responsible for tip heating problems include electrode design, welding rate, and electrode cooling methods. Electrode tip and shank shape and material strongly affect tip heat production and dissipation. Faster welding rates produce higher peak temperatures with each weld. To reduce peak tip temperature, slow the welding rate, which will also lower the overall average operating temperature. The electrode tips are often too small to use any sort of internal cooling system, so many welders have to use electrode holder cooling to reduce temperature. The electrode holder cooling system slightly helps lower electrode shank temperature, but has very little effect at all on peak electrode tip temperature. Air cooling is similarly only slightly effective at reducing the average tip temperature because of the small size of the electrode tip and shank areas. Using an electrode tip with a one-half diameter cavity or V-shape reduces the spreading of stranded wires during the welding process. When the electrode tip is flat and the part is rounded, the heat is concentrated at the single point of contact, producing a concentration of energy along a single line of contact. To allow proper heat dispersion when welding, a cupped electrode can be used. With a concave electrode, the part is fit snugly with a large contact area, dispersing the weld energy and producing a larger nugget with less weld splash.